Blanco. Referee. He'll lead things off Blanco. here in the Pirates half of the sixth. He's set. Here it comes. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that'll hit off the Ivy out there. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. So a line now drive batting. double here Fourth has him in business to Adam. start the inning. And as we check out the Bucks' leaders in that category, you can see he currently sits in third place on the ball club in that department. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Adam Frazier. No hits to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Scooped up on the backhand. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now that and this is not an easy 51. play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. Into the box, number 51, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Oh, and one, here it comes. And boy, this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0 and 2 now. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out front before it breaks all the way in. Here's Darvish on 0 and 2. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. That strikeout changes the now whole complexion of the inning. He was Elias. definitely pitching for it with a runner on third and one out, and he got it. Now it's going to take a hit or something like a wild pitch to get that guy home. Elias Diaz the next to hit. Uh, so right. way down a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. Polanco at third with two away. Off the plate, one, one. one ball, one strike. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. After two breaking pitches, there's a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing it. So if you're looking for it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. That's and there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses oh, away. When a pitch is close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at-bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One left for Pittsburgh. They lead it 2-1. to one. Stepping into the box, Kyle Schwarber head to head against Chris top. Archer. Just a three for 13 fielder. batting line. Kyle. He's also hit a couple of home runs Kyle. against him. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Huh? Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. You can tell this offense is getting frustrated, but this might be one you have to shower off. When a guy's locating like this, fastball at the knees and to both corners, it's going to be tough for them to do anything with it. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well, and it's a big reason why he's had success. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Okay, so now is where I think you pull the string. Throw the El Cambio up there. Hasn't seen it yet, and I think he's set up for it right here. Line shot to first, and there's one away. 
The batter number nine. Shortstop, Javier Baez. Here's Javier Baez. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats in left. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Oh, one one count. Here's the pitch. Oh, and that is right there for strike two. You know, if I'm the hitter right here, I'm like, okay. You want to come get some early in the count? I was about to wait you out, but now game on. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. And he'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around, it. according Third to the umpire. Base. Sometimes it can Red. be really tough for these big, strong oh, guys yeah. because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. Here's Chris Bryant now. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Archer gets the sign. Here's the 0 1. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's 1 and 1. This offense is going to have to find a way to get going. It's happened in the past. Every team goes through it where everyone seems to fall into a funk at the same time. Everyone needs to relax and not try and be the hero and just start getting the leadoff guy on. Oh no offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. Bryant looking at a three and one count. He's had command of his pitches all day. Hasn't walked the soul. But we find ourselves in a three ball count here. Want to see how aggressive he gets in the zone. Line. That's a base hit into left field. So Anthony Rizzo will have a chance to bat this inning following the base hit. That base hit was screaming off the bat, and our show track technology more than confirms it. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity of that line drive. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. Head to head against Chris Archer, batting at an even 400. Two of those hits were for home runs. Here's the first pitch to him. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and zero. Oh. This is where you got to take stock in the situation, adjust your batting gloves, and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. Hit hard on the ground to second. Newman brings it in. Gets dirty and gloves it. How about that? Three thumbs up here in the booth following this gorgeous play at second base. On to the back third here this afternoon, and we'll have it for you next on MLB Network. Ready once again, Chris Archer. He'll start the seventh, and Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense Archer. today. Oh, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. Strike one to start the at bat. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Called strike 0 and 2. Not looking good after being down 0 2. I think at the very least, you got to work this pitcher's count a little bit. Try and get back into a decent count where maybe you can come through. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Giving chase is Elmora. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Now batter, number 27. Kevin Newman. He's
He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch on its way. Slow little grounder left side. Bryant's got to get rid of it. And boy, just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the bag over there, and that's out number two. Fletcher. Venner. Striding in once again, Fletcher Venner. First delivery to him on the way. Line to the right side. Hayward is there, and it's a very quick inning as the Ladies side is retired. Down in order go the Pirates. They still lead it strength. two to one. Next to bat will be Victor Caratini. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. This thing's far Victor. from over, even though we're moving Caratini. into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Lifted the other way out to left center. Calling for it. Venner, he's got it one away. Up next for the Cubs, the right fielder, Jason. Hayward. Here's Jason Hayward now. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fastball off the plate away for ball one. And some action now in the Pirates bullpen. They've got a lefty and a right hander up to throw. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. A ball and a strike now. Hey, he looked like he was a little bit out in front on that breaking ball right there. The body can go a little bit. If he was able to keep his hands back a little bit, he might have been able to do some damage with that pitch. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. On to first, and there were two down. The batter. Number Digging in, Garcia, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one, our score. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 and 0. Oh. Boy, he just looks locked in at the plate right now to me. His numbers in recent games have been very good, and those were two stone-cold takes right there that put himself in a great hitter's count. Too far out in front that time. He can't keep it fair. Two and one. The two-one home is in there for the second strike. One run, four hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Three and two now. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Line drive to center field, and that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Cubs are down in order. They're down 2-1. Pedro Stroke has been summoned from the now bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 46, Pedro. Whoa. Leading off the inning, Josh Bell as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. Bell. First offering on its way. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. He's set. Here's the 0 1. There's strike two as the slider hits the outside corner. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. Hard on the ground towards short. There's Baez. 
throw not in time and he's in there with his third hit of the afternoon and now, now it looks like they the want some team. time to review that Ballin. one here so they'll check Four with in. their replay guys the call on the field was safe but it was definitely a bang bang play and tough for us to tell at full speed yeah I wasn't so sure about him being safe either but here's another shot of it right here not easy to tell for sure from that shot. Going to be interesting to see what they want to do with this one. So here's the signal from the bench, and they will indeed ask for that play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn Ladies with the replay operations the center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive player. answer on this play. Okay, we're going to get one more look at it right here. Is there enough video evidence to overturn this call? You know, I think there is. The shot right there makes it look like the ball beat him the first. Looks like a well-used challenge. Okay, umpires look ready, and off comes the headset, and oh, he's out. Review. So the original the call, call is overturned, and it ends up being a well-used challenge rule. there. Out. Stepping in, Colin Moran. He's batting cleanup, but has been shut down so far at the plate, 0 for 3. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Good late break to the slider here, but he one takes it in on the hands for ball one. Well, that's a great take there right there on that slider down and in. That's one of the toughest pitches to lay off of as a hitter. That hard breaking ball coming down and in at the back foot. A tough take on a good pitch. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Outside, 3 nope, and 0 oh now. In there, 3 and 1. The 3 and 1 pitch is in there for a full count now, 3 and 2. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. Two runs, six hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. This is line to left, and he will make the play out there, and there are two away Up now. To the, Pirates, the right fielder, Gregory Polanco. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Gregory Polanco. His career line against Pedro Stroke. He's gone two for eight. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. That's not a bad pitch right there. That two-seamer moving away from a left-handed hitter. Didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. And he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. One and two. The one two is swung on and missed strike three. One two three go the Pirates as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Leone Kella will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Number 35. Only so striding Mora. forward now, Albert Almora. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Leading up for the time, the center fielder. Here comes Albert. the first pitch. Almora. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. The 0 1 pitch. There's the big breaking ball, and it's by him for a strike. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder on the run, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. David Bodie will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number 13. 
David. Brody. And they'll try and get him out in front to start the at bat, but this misses off the plate away. It's ball one. That average for him sitting at 345. 22 home runs and 46 driven in. Bouncing ball toward the hole. Moran scoops it up, and that's the second out. Now batting, left fielder. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Kyle Schroeder. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0 and 1. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Three and one to the Cubs left fielder. Three balls, no strike. Javier Baez would be next if they can keep this inning alive. The three one is swung on and missed and that's a full count now three balls and two strikes. Not too often do you see a changeup come across at 88 miles an hour on the gun still effective. When you're throwing a fastball in the high 90s, though. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Just shy of the baskets and off the ivy. And hold all tickets now as the tying run gets into scoring position with a two out double. Finally a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah a rally can begin with the single swing oh, yeah. of the bat and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Settling in now Javier Baez. Been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Here's a huge swing by Baez and a ball sent to deep left field. It's gone. They've taken the lead in the eighth. It's a two run shot to straightaway left and it's now a one run ball game. Boy, this guy just keeps going on. His 40th home run of the season, and he's not done yet. He keeps this up. He's definitely going to be in a conversation for some of the year-end awards. Michael Feliz enters here looking now, to get the final out before the ninth inning. Number 45, Michael Feliz. Chris Bryant will be oh, the first one to time. greet him as he'll start fresh here with the bases man. empty following Ray. the home run. This guy has been oh, unbelievable. Yeah. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA. And what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year, MVP. I mean, get in line. First delivery to him on the way. Now this one is blasted to left field and there's no doubt about it. Back to back Jacks.
Chris Bryant leaves the yard with a solo shot. Home run number 57 thus far. And it gives the Cubs a 4-2 lead. How about the work the lineups have been doing so far, fellas? Matty V, this is turning into Home Run Derby Part 2. Vero, five bombs already in this one. Yeah, there's a fight at the bat rack for both teams right here. A lot the of bat. mislocations the right out over the heart of the plate. Yes, and neither side is missing. Swung on and missed. It's 0-1. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan, D. Rowe, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you one. know, D. Rowe, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. set and the one two pitch swing and this is also hit well out to deep center and that's going to be off the ivy covered wall the relay not in time and he's in there with a double boy that line drive was a blur off the bat which means it's definitely worth looking at on show track and how about this for an exit velocity 116 miles an hour that's right up there with the fastest we've seen so striding in Victor Caratini he's hitless coming into this at bat so the hit streak he's been riding is on the line here. Yeah, he's up in the double digits with it. You know he wants to keep it going as long as possible, but this very well could be the last chance to do that. First pitch of the at-bat. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. That's wide 2 and 0. Well, he's got a base open to use right here, and it looks like he might not be afraid to do that by the way he's pitching him. Now the 2 0. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but this will get foul 2 and 1. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Mm, clearly fooled there on the slider. Here now the 2 2. Ground ball right side. Newman fields it cleanly. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. We've played eight full. The Cubbies are in front, four to two. Kimbrell comes on from the pen, please. hoping to finish this one now off here in the top the of the ninth. Cubs. Number 24, Gray Kimbrell. This game's defensively for the Cubs. Not playing third day. Number 13, Adam Frazier will be charged with Bowman. trying to start a rally in the ninth as they go to work against Kimbrell. Addison Russell will Christmas. come on defensively now as he off. takes over at second. Adam Frazier. This game's defensively for the Cubs. Now playing second base, number 27, Addison Russell. First pitch coming, here it is. Back up the middle. And this will make its way into center field for a base hit and the leadoff man's aboard now to open the ninth. Well, you're usually in this situation looking for a now bloop back. and a blast. Number he didn't want to bloop it, and he hit a missile. Bring the tying run to the plate. Let's see if they can capitalize.
In now, number 51, as he'll take a look at ball one. A hit and two tries for him so far. A 2 0 count to the Bucks center fielder. On 2 0, you can bet he's looking for a fastball that he can turn on and drive. Might be thinking about picking on that big hole between first and second. Two balls and a strike now. Frazier on at first, nobody out. Three and one. Elias Diaz, who represents the possible go ahead run here, waits in the on deck circle. A swing and a ground ball to third. And that's through into left, and back to back singles have him in business to start the ninth. Well, D. Rowe, there's another now base hit making it first and second. They're piling up the hits on the day, but so Your far, not many please. runs to show for it. Yeah, now, definitely a few knocks day. in the cupboard makes you Double feel three. good, and the batting average no. goes up, but that doesn't help you win ball games. Somebody has got to come up with a nice AB with runners in scoring position. Yeah. Strike taken up in the zone. Ball over the outside, but in there for a strike. None out, runners at first and second. Two balls and two strikes, the count of the Pirates catcher. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Really important time for a strikeout there, guys. Now Tying run at first, so the objective pitcher. number one is Michael. stranding him on base. Believe. And now with one out, it becomes a lot more difficult to You're manufacture that lead. run. And now pinch it looks like we'll pilot. have a pinch hitter here as number Melky Cabrera 53. has grabbed a bat Melky. and begun to loosen in the on-deck circle. A ball oh. and no strikes. A ball and a strike. Cabrera, commonly referred to around the game as the milkman, his contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. On the first, and Cabrera's a ground out victim. Two away. Ready for another chance, Kevin Newman, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. No balls and a strike to count. Runners at second and third with two gone. A 1-1 count to the Pirates' leadoff hitter. And this ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. Catch is made, and the Cubs have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. Yeah, and the home crowd is loving it as they jumped out in front in the bottom of the eighth, and they did what they had to do in the ninth to seal the deal. Four to two, the final score today. The Cubs came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Pedro Strope earns his third win of the year in relief. Craig Kimbrell closes the door for the save, his fourth of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network.